Hi everyone, this is Sue's Journal Adventures, back again for some more adventures. I probably should call this um, Pill Packet Journal Part 3, because I'm going to be working on this today uh, a little bit. If we get chance, we might do some of the cookies and cream journal as well. But I've been thinking about this and um, the fact that when I made this book, obviously I had loads and loads and loads of bits of paper left over. So the papers that I'd used inside, these are all the cut off bits. So I thought, well, I want to try and incorporate some of them into the journal. Obviously, I don't want the journal to look all samey samey, but it's I'm kind of trying to use up bits in here. So... Obviously, you've seen me do the front bit. So that black background was the bit that was left over from making them. This was the end of um, a bookmark that I'd used for a belly band in another journal. Uh, just put a sticker on and some fake stitching around the edge. A bit of the fabric that was left over from the journal as a pocket. Um, I think, oh, I did some Zentangle. <laughs> I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I just stuck a sticker on that and then I made a, this is like a bluey page. So I just did some blue doodling around the edge, put a bit of blue around there to kind of tie that in. This was a ticket that I was going to put in there, but because I'd 3D'd the butterfly, um, yeah, I couldn't put it in. So I just made that into a pocket as well with some teeny tiny postcards in there. Um, and then I made a little tuck spot with a little letter in it. So I'm going to carry on decorating. I found this little booklet that I made ages ago. So it's just a little mini notebook that can either tuck in a pocket or it could be stuck down so the person can write in it. Um, I've also made a little mini envelope to go in here, which I have made before. But just to show you very quickly how simple it is. All you need is a square of paper, just a square, that's it. In, in, ignore that bit there, okay? P pretend it's a full square. And you just fold it into a triangle and then you open it and fold the bottom half up to the middle crease line. Fold that up and then you bring that edge in and glue the bottom. You bring that edge in and then you push that bit back when, can you see? I better do that again and I'll let me bring you close. I have showed this on another video, but just in case. So basically, fold in half into a triangle. Fold the bottom up to the middle crease line. Fold it up again to the top. So you're left kind of with a triangle shape. Fold that side in and you would glue the bottom. Fold that side in and then push that bit back and then that goes into like a little beaky thing that you can push down and it makes a little diamond it's probably not the easiest to see on this coffee dye paper and then when you fold your flap forward it just tucks into the little beak i hope you can see that all right so i've made a little envelope then i made this which is just a square piece of paper again let me take you back up again so all i've done is put the nice side face down and i've folded it in half simple as that then i've opened it out again i can open it out again and folded it up in half and then I turn it over and I've folded it that way in half into a triangle. Then when you open this out, it kind of sort of pushes together into another little square. <clears throat> and all I'm going to do with that is probably stick it on one of the pages, probably put a little um, gemstone or something at the bottom to indicate that you have to open it and that would be glued down so then when you open it, it just opens out and it's just a bit of interest you can decorate that you can leave it just for them to write a message in or you could write a message in if you're giving them the journal as a gift um you could put a little hidden message in there so that's just another little i don't know what do you call it an aesthetic 
piece um, I would probably put a little button there right near the edge just to keep it flat so I've got that to put in I've got that and I've got that I just very quickly made a little side pocket out of this spare bit of paper um, and backed it onto some card to give it some strength so that can be an edge pocket but I'm going to decorate it up a little bit more and then um, somebody shared <coughs> excuse me on one of the Facebook groups I'm on um, I think it was let me see I can't read it Blossom Paper Art <coughs> Blossom Paper Art shared this freebie for us the other day um, and I thought it quite goes with my journal cover, some of the roses. So I've just fussy cut a few of them out that I can use maybe as like a little um, tuck spot. So we've got a few things to stick in. But I want to make some other things as well. Um, so this belly, no, it's not a belly band. It's not a belly band, so it's an edge pocket. It could be a belly band. Could be whatever you want it to be, really. I think I want it as a um, an edge pocket. We'll make another belly band in a bit. Um, so I was thinking I might just glue a little bit of lace down the edge. It does make it difficult when you're tucking things in and out, I suppose. But um, I don't know whether to put it there, actually. But then I feel like I want some on there. So all I'm going to do is a few little bits in this little mini journal. Um, make a couple of little things. Might do some of the cookies and cream, I don't know. Um, but just have a play. It's just a craft and play day today. Not showing you anything major. Just showing you this little journal. Now we can use the bits to make other stuff. Oh gosh, my mouth keeps watering. <laughs> I feel a bit sicky today. It's because, <laughs> sorry, it would help if I told you why. It's because obviously I've got three cats and um, so obviously we flea treat our cats. Um, I flea treat them every like four weeks, but I, you obviously have to flea treat your home as well. So I've just gone around the whole entire house um, with flea spray and it's, not the most it's it's not a bad smell but it's just well yeah when you get a bit too much of it i've got all the windows and doors open but it's like it's getting to me a little bit now like ugh, it's horrible <laughs> uh, so yeah i'm just gonna fancy this up a little bit stop talking and get on with it last get on with it so this is going i think that way Oh, that way it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter um so i'm just going to glue a little bit of um lacy stuff on the edge just um a little bit of that because we like to make things pretty it might only be just a little pill packet journal but that doesn't mean to say it can't be like super super pretty so <clears throat> and i do like super super pretty if i'm honest these are the wrong scissors but Never mind yeah so we'll have that and then i might even just go to town and stick that on there as well can you even see what i'm doing um i might stick that on as well i think i'll just ink the edges of that i might need my ink out though because i haven't um crafted for a good few days so i think it's gonna be a bit maybe a bit dry this little doofer so i don't know what you're all up to today i hope you're having a lovely day it's sort of hmm, it's kind of sunny here in west yorkshire it is sunny the sun's out and it's it's not cold um it's just a little bit cloudy and overcast which is pretty much normal for west yorkshire um oh gosh i've got a big blob of glue coming out of there um <clears throat> So there we go, that's another little thing that can go in our journal. While I've got the ink out, I think I'll just ink these other bits. Just because I'm going to use them in there, so I might as well ink them. Might as well ink them. Just get a bit on the edge of there. 
and on the beak. I don't know why I call it a beak, but there you go. Just a bit of, um, oh, and I need to glue that as well. So just put a tiny bit of glue, tiny bit of glue, she says, with a great big glue ball hanging off the side of my um, glue. Just stick that down. And then I just want it on just that bit there. I'm going to utilise that glue blog because that's a bit, you know, I don't want to waste all that glue. So there we go. That's stuck down. It's a little beaky there. And push that into there. There we go. That's done. That's done. i just shove a bit more ink on you. Um, I might just ink the edge of that. Sorry to bore you all with inking. But it's got to be done. Well, it doesn't have to be done. It is entirely personal preference. Um, I just ink the edges of the top of that. I'm not going to bother inking them all because you're only really going to see that bit stuck in the journal anyway. And I'm going to ink one of these flowers because I definitely, definitely, definitely am going to use one of these as a pocket. Right, so I've got a few things. Um, I'll take it back up a bit now. This thing's going awfully strange. I don't know if it's a bit loose. Maybe things need tightening up here and there. <laughs> I know how it feels. I've got things that need tightening up as well. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right, so um, what should we do next? Okay, well, I've got this little um, side pocket thing. Oh. Sorry, side pocket thing. So we kind of need something to go in the side pocket, don't we? So let's make out of the papers. Let's give us some more papers over here. Let's make, um, I don't know. I don't know. I've actually no idea. I think I'm going to tear a bit of that. Tear that side because it's got a bit of white on it. And tear that. Okay, this is probably too big to go in there. Yep, so it needs to come down a wee bit. I do like this paper, it's really nice. Um, and then I'm just going to stick it. Actually, first of all, I've got a piece of that white card. Yes, I have. Okay, I'm going to stick it on there first, just to give it a bit of um, stiffness. Because uh, everything's a bit flimsy when it's paper, isn't it? And you don't want the tag to be flimsy, really. So I'm just going to stick glue on this whole thing. Because I think I'm probably, I don't know, does it need to be that wide? And I'm going to stick half of that on there. And then I'm going to, yep, you guessed, ink. I'm going to ink that bit. So really, I'm just decorating today. I'm not doing anything amazing. Um, I have been asked in the comments by a few people to do different things. So when I did the, um, the list, you know, the list things you can get in your home for free. When I did that list... I did say that I was going to progressively work through that list and show you how to use things that I'd mentioned in that list. So I've had a few requests lately. Um, one lovely lady asked me if I could do a video of me um, using food colourings to dye papers. Yes, absolutely. That is on the list of videos. Um, another lady asked if I could make a um, gift bag folio. Absolutely, that is on the list. And then I've, I've been asked by a lady if I would do a flip through of one of my journals. Absolutely. I was going to do a video of a flip through of my journal, but then I thought, well, I don't know if people actually want to see that. Um you know, they might just find it boring or whatever. So I didn't do it, but since I've been asked to do it, 
um, yes, of course I will. I will get to all these videos in due course. Um, the dyeing paper one might not be like mega... It might be fairly soon, but it won't be mega soon because I'm on a massive clear out at the moment. I'm having a clear out of oh, basically my whole entire house because I've just... You know when you just accumulate a lot of stuff and you're like... I don't use it, I don't need it, I don't want it. I need to clear out and get rid. So I've done my lounge. Um, I'm in the process, kind of. When health permits and when, you know, when I'm not busy doing other things, I'm trying to kind of clear out my kitchen at the moment. So um, I'm emptying cupboards and trying to rearrange stuff. And it's not great when you haven't got great health because you can't always do it, but... So it's a slow process um, and my kitchen is so ridiculously tiny. Um, so to the lady that asked if I would be dyeing paper with food colouring, yes I will hon. Just bear with me a little bit because um, I'm in the middle of clearing my kitchen out and getting rid of things that I don't use. Because you know when you have massive casserole pots and big massive uh, lasagna dishes and I live on my own I'm like I don't just don't really need these things anymore um so yeah I'm just having a clear out and getting rid of loads of stuff so it's in a bit of disarray at the moment plus it's so tiny um in there but I, I do do my paper dyeing in there so yes we will do that um soon I'm not sure when but I'm getting I'm working my way through all the um the things on the list and food colouring was one of them, so I will be doing it. Um, does that fit? Would that fit behind there? Let's have a look. Oh, yes, it would. Yay, good. So that's just a little book page and a bit of the paper. Make a little tag. So that's enough. So we've got a few things made here to use. What else can we make? We could make a belly band because that was an edge pocket. Um, let me see, let's find another pretty piece. Oh, that's pretty, oh, that's my book. Um, kind of needs to be a longer piece, doesn't it, really? Oh, I can hear one of my cats. Um, they're all outside. Sunbathing. Right, I'll get a few more of these little card strips, because they come in handy. Um... I don't think I need it this thick for a belly band, do I? God, I'm making a right mess on my desk. No one knew that, but it already is a mess, actually. Um, okay. I don't know what page this is going to go on. Maybe that one. Maybe we'll have a little belly band. So, for the height, I just want it about there. I kind of think I need it a wee bit thinner than that because it nearly takes up the whole page. <clears throat> I'm just going to get a cutter and cut it. Because as you all know by now, my cutting is not at all straight. So it's mainly for this bit that I want to cut it straight. So I'll have it about that thick, I think. I don't know if you can see any of that even. Right, so, yeah, I just thought in this I'm going to try and use up some bits and pieces I've got sat on my desk and some little die cuts and things that are lying around on my desk. Just, you know, use them up. So, okay, we'll have, we'll have a piece of this. I would like that piece down there with flower on, but it really doesn't matter. In fact, I think I'm going to do this with my glue stick. Be slightly easier. Oops. Right, so pop that on there. Got that little thing that could do with backing onto some that as well. And I'm just might as well go for the for the edge because there's less to cut then. So that's another this is a little belly band which I will cut round with scissors. I think the um, the cat flea treatment smell is finally 
go in a little bit. I've got all the windows open. I'm like, oof. Yeah, it's not nice stuff. It's really good for, you know, if you've got any fleas in your house, which I'm hoping I haven't, but I just spray it anyway, just in case. Because I have got three cats, so you just never know. You never know if there's any little critters. I don't want little critters in my house. So I could go on there, couldn't it? Mm, kind of gets lost a bit on there. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I think um, I kind of want to pretty this up somehow, but I don't want to do lace again. I could do a different lace. I could do... Um, I don't know what else have I got in my drawer. I've got some other thin ones. I just can't let me find anything at the moment. That's not exactly thin. Um, not finding the thinnies. Not finding the thinnies. <laughs> I don't know where everything is. Do you know the amount of times I tidy out this drawer? It's ridiculous. And it just ends up a mess again in two minutes. This is a bit thick, I think. It's a bit... looks nice. Oh, what the heck. Just go for it. Just go for it. It is big. It is big for a very small journal and a very small piece of card, but I'm just going to go for it. I don't want to think too much about things because it's only a little pill packet journal. I'm only doing it for the purposes of showing people how to make and maybe decorate a little bit. Oh. And then put a bit on there. And there we go. Just a little titty witty belly band. The tops off. I'll keep that bit, you know me. I'll keep that bit. That can go in my bits box. <laughs> it's ridiculous, isn't it, what I keep? But um I've had a few, a few um not racks, not racks, what do you call them? I've had a few wishes this week, which was really nice. Um, one lady sent me some die cuts and some papers and some ribbons and embellishments. Really pretty. And then another lady sent me some um, handmade stuff. So I've had a couple of little racks this week. Not racks, but swaps. So that's nice. So right, where are these going to go? Let's have a look. Let's do some... I don't know what I'm going to put in here. I haven't found out for in here yet. Maybe we'll make something for in them pockets. Maybe. Um, oh, I've just saw something I can make. I don't know if I can stamp it, though. Um, anyway, do that in a minute. Brain goes off in loads of directions now. It's like, oh, there's that. Oh, you could make that. Oh, you could do one of them. Okay, just chill out and let's crack on decorating this little thing. So we've got to here. Okay, so I think on this page, I just want, where's it gone? That. Um, I just want that. Sorry, gone off camera. Oh, come on, glue. I need to order some more glue. I've only got one bottle left. Well, actually, I've got loads of glue. I've got Elmer's and all sorts, but I particularly like my Fabri-Tac, so I've only got one bottle of it left. So I'm like, oh, I need to get some more. Right, I'm just going to stick that there as a little um, tucky pocket thing. So you can go on there. We will probably decorate the page a bit more, maybe with some doodling, maybe with some ink. I've inked the edge of that page brown. I should have done it the um, warm lipstick colour, shouldn't I, really? Well, it can have a bit of warm lipstick on it as well. There we go. 
made. I could even stamp some little things in one lipstick, but so I've stuck that on. I've got to find some tags or something to go in that. A white page. Oh, I don't like white pages. Okay, so I'm gonna just get um something, something. There's gotta be something on my desk. Oh, just give me that, that'll do. Um I'm just going to go over the whole thing with warm lipstick and make a mess. Just going to go right along there. Can you see me doing this? Yep. And I'm just going to colourise the paper because, um, oh yeah, because I want to. Right, now then, I could put some lace down the edge of the page. I could put another couple of roses on the page and make them into pockets, but that's a bit boring. I think, do you know what I think? I think I'm going to use some washi tape because I, we all buy tons of these stuff, washi tapes, and we just, I just never use them, hardly ever. Um, where's my glue stick gone i've just had it oh, it's there um because washi isn't always the stickiest but i've also just put ink on there so um i'm hoping whoops <laughs> i just saw this one on my shelf and it's got pink flowers on it so I'm like okay i should use a bit of that i've put a bit more extra glue on it so i'm just gonna go probably Ugh. I can stick it straight. Okay. I'm trying to get it right in the edge. Just going to go around the edge with it. Okay, I might just, should I just do top and bottom? I go right around the edge, there's not going to be much space left. So, oh well, it doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with this little journal, really. Oh. Just, um, I'm just playing in it, really. It's just a little play journal. Play and have fun. Stick things in, make things. It's, you know, not for any particular reason. Um, shall I go down the edges? What do you think? Hmm. Make it like a little frame. Why not? I'm just going to get a bit more glue on there tape because it's just not the best i'm gonna go off the edge so i can just trim it it's easy to trim it and try and get it straight <clears throat> and just a bit more run over the top of the glue whoops there we go and get this stuck on and we've made a little frame and what can we put in the frame Absolutely no idea. I'm sure we'll find something. <clears throat> yeah, I'd like to just use some bits and pieces up in here, some washi tape and things that, you know, that you have laying around on your desk that you just don't, oops, that you don't, um, that could just be a decorative page, couldn't it? It could be. I don't know what it's going to be. It could have... Um, could have a, a photograph in the middle. I could. I don't think I want that in the middle though. Um, I don't know what I want in the middle to be quite honest. It's one of them days where I'm a little bit like I want to craft but I'm not 100% sure what I want to craft. I'm pretty sure you have them days too. But since I'm doing a video, I'm like, well, you just better craft something, so You just better craft something. There we go. So now we've made a little frame out of washi tape. I have no idea what we're going to put in the little frame. Um... Oh, you're still stuck to my finger. Get off. Oh. 
that that could go in there but it could be a, a tucky i quite like that actually that looks pretty nice i think <laughs> it's, it could just be a decorative page but then again because this is a decorative page well, i could make that a functional page couldn't i um i could just leave that as somewhere to write i don't know i don't know what to do i really don't today i'm in a very um yeah want to craft but don't know what i'm doing i'll come back to it if i don't know what to do what i do is float off and do something else and then i'll come back and think oh yeah i've got that thing yeah i'll put that on there that's the way it works sometimes right where's my little bits that i've pre-made so that's a belly band so i think that'd look nice on there okay y'all live in there simples simples bit of glue bit of glue oopsie i haven't put lid on that glue so oh now we've just dropped the lid on the floor all oh, my days do you know cannot take me anywhere Right. What have I been doing with that? Oh, I actually had a thought the other day um, of something I want to try, and I'm going to try it on camera. Do you know, aren't we weird people, really, us crafters? I just saw that in my bin. It's a tissue I've obviously wiped ink up with, but I'm like, oh, look, it looks like a rose. Stop it, so just put it back in the bin. <laughs> um, what was I on about? I don't even know now. Oh, yeah, I had this thought the other day. Don't know if it'll work. I will try it on camera. I don't know if it'll work. But I thought if you haven't got any ink pads, I wonder if you can make an ink pad from food colouring and an old washing up sponge or, well actually a new washing up sponge because you won't want a dirty one um yeah washing up sponge in a little bit of water with food coloring in it i wonder if you could stamp with it we will try that one day if somebody tries it before me let me know <laughs> if it works okay so we've got a belly band there and um, we've got a frame of some sort there what else are we going to put in here? Oh, that's the middle page. So I'll leave that for now. And then do we want this on here? Mm, I don't know. What do you think? I don't like the white. Um, 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 um. Well, that's too pretty. So you don't want to put it on there. And that's white. Could it go on there? Yes, it could. It could. I've done the edges of that page red for some reason. Um, let's see what else we've got going on in here. We've got a book page. It looked nice on the book page, actually. Yeah, I like it there. Okay, let's go in there. So, yeah, this is what you do when you're making a little journal or a big journal. Just go through, see where you want things. You can mass make things. You can... Just pick from stuff you've already made. It's entirely up to you. Because this is such a little journal, I think I'm kind of probably mostly going to have to make things for it because it is teeny. I'm not going to put it right to the edge of the page. Just put it there because the page is all fluffy and it's been inked. So we'll just put it there. There we go. Right, we've got that and I've got that and I've got this. I inked that. Yeah, I did ink that. I could actually put that on there, couldn't I? That'd be cute. Um, so, because I've got these weird non-coloured pages, um, I'm wondering if I could just ink them. So I could put that on there, but it, it needs something around edge, on it? So... I'm going to have a bit of one lipstick round the edge. And then 
I should really have put some card in this journal as well. I usually put a mix of paper and card, but this is all paper. So um, I think I'm going to stick this on here. So let's just glue it down and then we'll decide what I'm going to do around the edge. Oh, actually, could I put that on there? I could put that on there. Because that's already decorated, isn't it? Hmm, do I put it on there? Oh, I don't know now. Do I put it on there? With that on it? Or that? That looks better, doesn't it? Yeah, whatever. I think I'm going to put it on here. Oh, good grief. My glue is just the biggest gunk ball in the world. It's a gunk ball. Oh, I've got a bit of an headache now. I'm always moaning on these videos. Right? I've got an headache. I've got a cold. I've got a cough. I'm not a hypochondriac, honestly. <laughs> I certainly sound like one, but I'm not. I think it's the um, the spray, actually, that's giving me a bit of a headache. But never mind. Right, so I need a little something just to hold that down so it don't flick up on its own but then something to indicate that you need to pull it up um so do i put the little rose on there or not what do you think it's kind of cute i like it but i need a oh hello i just spied you on my desk what are you are you a little wax seal a fake wax seal could put that there so it just holds it down but then how does somebody know that they have to pick it up no no i don't like that i'd have to just go there and hold the very very edge of it um and do i decorate that out comes the one lipstick again oh hang on let me put a bit of paper behind there. Bit of warm lipstick just round the edge. Because there's all sorts going on here today. There's blooming, I don't know, there's streamers going, there's helicopters flying over, there's, oh, I don't know, all sorts of noises. This is not awkward much. I don't give in that easily. I made a big blob on there, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I just want to go around there. Can you even see me? I thought I was working off screen then. Sorry. <laughs> just a bit of colour round and in and bring it in a bit more um oh wouldn't that look nice stamped actually you know if you stamp some script in the middle and it opens out to look like a, a secret letter in there oh i don't think i'm gonna do that now i think i'm just gonna I mean, I could take a pencil and just draw some really fine lines to indicate that they can write on it. But at the minute, I'm more preoccupied with the closure of it. Or do I just leave it like that and put that on? Hmm. I don't know. I think I'll come back to this. Because I don't know whether to stick the flower on. Or have just a little something there that shows you that you need to open it. Um, just get a bit more ink on there in places. Just uh, right, all. Um, yeah, I think I'll just leave you there for now. Hide you. Right. So what have I got on here? What's these? What are these? That's a that's a ticket. Tags. Oh, there's a little tag lock. Can go under there. I think I'd quite like. Would my little envelope go under there? Or is it too little? 
Mm, no. Oh, that little book could go under there, couldn't it? Just stick out. So basically I could put it in that way. Can't really see it much, but... And you can have a tag, maybe. Yeah, you're bugging me. But anyway, go away, I can't see you. Right, um... What else have I got? What's this thing? This is a thing someone sent me and I decorated it. So, um, I don't know what we're going to do with that. Should we do something with that? What are we going to do with that? I don't know. I've got some more small bits like this. I don't really know where they are. What's that? Oh my goodness, I've pulled out all sorts now. Oh gosh, knocking everything over. Um, I've got some tags. I've got a... That's too big. I've got a little love is in the air thing that I made. Mm, fluffy bits might get caught. Could be a pocket, could be a tuck spot, could be... I don't know. I'm getting a bit stale now, guys. I'm running out of ideas. Um, oh, I need something to go in there, don't I? Maybe you could go in there. Maybe not. Oops. Dear me, I'm knocking everything over today. What about these? I've got these little tags here. You could go in. You're tiny. What about you? That's a bit thick. That's on really thick cards, that. Um, oh, gosh. Do you know what is going on today? <laughs> Just knocking stuff over left, right, and centre. Um, I've got a little um paper clippy doodah. That's pretty. We can put you somewhere. Where could you go? Well, you look nice on there, actually. Greeny, greeny. What we're gonna put on you? These pads don't even. Oh, they do. Just. I'm gonna say those pads don't even fit on there. Um, I don't know what they're doing over there. What else is over here? There's stuff under here that might be of use to me. Oh, gosh, there's all sorts over here, look. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? I've got a little bit of a film reel. Um, okay, you can have a piece of paper. Um, we can ink the edges. lightly you can have a piece of paper you can have a, a ticket that's a bit you can't even tell what that is really can you actually do you know what that looks better through the camera than it does in real life in real life it's really blurry it's supposed to be Eiffel Tower and some cogs but it's a bit um it might head its way to the bin it might head its way to a collage sheet. Who knows? Um, what else am I putting on here? Does that fit? It does. What is it? Heliola Dining Lodge. Luncheon suggestions. Oh, don't start looking at that. Gosh. That'll make me hungry. <laughs> it doesn't take much to make me hungry. I'm just like, mm, food. We like food, don't we? We love food. Love eating. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. He's got to go somewhere. Definitely, definitely. It would look quite nice on there, on the book page. Um, Where's the other little doodah? Here we go. This one. This. Oh, that's, that's a pigeon. I have some strange things in my stash, but he'd... No, I don't like him on that one. I like him on that. What did I even ink that with? I've got no idea. Oh, I think it was scattered straw or something. Um, would he look nice? There's a little pocket on there. He kind of would, wouldn't he, on there? I need to... This is um, printed ink, but I'm going to ink him a bit more. 
Yeah, he could be a pocket or a, a tuck spot or a put him on an angle. I don't know. I think he could go there or I could have that there as a pocket. Oh, that's awfully boring. That's not much better. But yeah, a bit of contrast. Spots and it's too big. Could cut it in half. Oh, okay. I could cut it in half. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. See, this is why you just play about with little things. Pick things up and look at them. Because sometimes an idea comes in your head. And I didn't have this idea before. So, all right, I'm just going to try and cut that straight. And then I was thinking, you could have two little pockets on there. That's cute. Um, where's my little? Is that too little? I mean, it is a mini journal, but is this is this a bit too little? Do you think for a doodah? I don't think so. Let me do them together, because knowing me, I'll get them in totally the wrong place. And then when you stick them on the page, they'll look hideous because they're wrong. That's if this will do two together. Um. I'm gonna go for there. Is that in the middle? I think so. There we go, I've done it. Yay! Oh, two cool little pockets. I like that. Um ink, 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 ink. Gathered twigs. Let's have some gathered twigs going around, edgeless. Right. bit of gathered twig and a bit more gathered twig. I've no idea what's going to go in these pockets. It's going to have to be somewhat quite small, isn't it? But, you know, it's just, did I do inside that bit? Right, I think they can go on there because they kind of sort of go with that page. Oh, we could stack them like that, couldn't we? Yeah, I like that. Shall we do that? I really wish you guys could answer me sometimes. Do I do them like that? Or do I do it like that? I think like that. Oh, you could even have a little clock in there. Yay. Okay, let's stick them down. Let's stick them down. Oh, let's get rid of this. Great big, have you seen that? What is that in aid of? Seriously. Oh, I've got some more still. There we go. Blah, I think I need to stick this to this first. Sorry, can you see me? I've gone off. I've gone off range again, haven't I? Da, 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 da. All right, whoops, put you on there. I have to be careful because I put glue on the bottom bit. And I didn't, the glue strands stick to me and then make me do things wrong. That's cute, I like that. There's a bit of glue up there. Bit, a bit of glue, so. I mean, heck. I need. I've, I have got one of those fine nozzle doodads, the fine tips, but it comes out like, you know, super, super slow. I've got one with a fine nozzle, but yeah, it just don't come out very quick. I've got glue all over me. Right, so there we go. We've got a little double pocket on there. It's kind of cute. I like that. It could, if it wanted, have a little um, flower on the bottom. Shall we? Shall we? Why not? Why not? Why not indeed? I like it when that happens, when you just find something in your stash and you think of something else. Um, oh, I've got that many glues out on my desk. I don't know what I'm doing. Right. Blob. Blob of glue. Blob of glue. On there. 
And then I've got smiles. Will smiles fit on there? If I can pick it up. Smiles. What do you think? Well, it's going to get covered up by whatever goes in the pocket, really, isn't it? So, don't mean to say it can't be there, though. It can still be there. Just let me rip that a bit more and that, because it's quite big. Shall we put smiles in? I'm just trying to find things now to, <laughs> to put in here and to do. Um, so yeah, if, if you're decorating your journal today, I hope you're having fun. Is it a little pill packet journal or is it a big journal? Um, I will show you <coughs> a flip through of one of my journals. I don't know which one because I tend, when I make journals, I do sometimes um, colour theme them. So if I'm working with a digi kit, I usually work on it like a colour theme of the digi kit. Um, some journals, I don't use digi kit. So I'm going to put that slightly to the side a little bit. And I think I'm going to ink that and pop that in there. Um, yeah, I usually work with a digi kit and like a colour theme. Um, sometimes I don't, it's just, I just made a journal recently and I wish I could show you it, but unfortunately it lives in Canada now. Um, I made it for my friend's sister and it didn't have a theme. It wasn't based on a digi kit. It was just, uh, every page was different and I absolutely loved making it. I really loved making it. Um, I need something else small to go in this one now. It's a bit too big. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I I wish I could show you that one because that one was really really pretty and a bit of everything. Um, quite a lot of my journals are themed. So when the lady, her young lady, has asked me if I could do a flip through of one of my journals, yeah, absolutely. Um, I just don't know which one to show you because um. I've got quite a few. I've got a um, pink and grey journal. I've got a blue clocks and but clocks and butterflies. Yeah, um, the pink and grey ones. Um, birds and roses. I've got the autumn. I've got an autumn journal. I've got a bees and sunflowers, and I've got lady aqua who is sitting on my shelf at the moment. I want to put two in, but I kind of don't want to cover the clock up. Or maybe, maybe I'll put the tickets at the back. Put the clock at the front and the tickets at the back. Yeah, that's a better idea. There you go. Cute. I've got to use Bumblebee somewhere because he's, he's really nice. Where could you go, Mr. Bumble? Mr. Bumble could go on there. Oh, um, I haven't inked that page, so I might just, yeah, I think I might put him on there, just ink him a bit more. I know he's kind of printer inked. It came out of the printer like that, but why am I trying to stand that up that way? Oh, why am I getting that glow? I'm not with it, am I today at all? I'm in like, I don't know. I'm hungry. I'm getting hungry. It's all that talk about food. <laughs> Who started that? Do you know, my friend is such a bad influence. I'm not a massive fan of cakes and buns and biscuits. I do like them, but I don't really buy them because I live on my own and I'd have to eat a whole cake. But I'm not that fussed for cake. I'm a bit more of a, a savoury person. I, give me crisps any day or you know savory stuff but um she's a she's a bit of a cake fiend is my friend she really is and um we go and visit her sister on a thursday and we always take some biscuits with us well i turned up with biscuits yesterday and these like wafer roll things my friend turned up with a blooming big massive cake and i'm like oh what are you like 
<laughs> she she got it in the sale apparently it was on sale so she was like well i couldn't know it were on the sale but it were huge and we had to laugh when we took it into her sister because her sister were like whoa <laughs> what the heck is that for but so yeah so we had cake and biscuits and chocolatey wafery stick things yesterday and i'm like oh do you know this is me that's trying to eat healthy trying to i'm not dieting because i don't even like the word diet and when you say you're on a diet you don't do it that is a fact you don't do it once you say i'm on a diet you've pretty much doomed yourself to fail oh have i already glued that oh okay um yeah you've already doomed yourself to fail failure i think and if you notice when you go to somebody's house and they make you a cup of tea and it's do you want a biscuit you say no i'm not hungry thanks they don't pressure you to have a biscuit but if you say oh no i'm on a diet oh go on one water you go on just have one they kind of hurt you and it's like bad <laughs> anyway before i find something to put in this envelope um i think i'm gonna close for now and come back to you guys later if um, you want to comment on here about which journal you'd like to see, then I will do a flip through on the next video. So I've got um, blue, which is clocks and butterflies. I've got pink and grey. So I just put blue, pink and grey, which is birds and roses. I've got sunflowers and bees. And I've got autumn, autumn journal. And I've also got Lady Aqua. Autumn Journal is a big, chunky one. So, yeah, if you just put in the comments which one you'd like to see, the one that gets the most um, comments is the one I'll do a flip through of. Oh, I was going to put that in there. Yeah, I think I will. But I need some little things to go in there. And goodness me. I don't know where I'm going to find things small enough to go in there, but I will find something because I am very determined. I have some small stuff here, but I don't even think this is small enough. Oh, that's really cute, isn't it? Look at that pretty little thing. What going in there, though? No, it's too big. Is that a double? It is. Oh, it opens. Oh, it's another one of them. Gosh, how many of them? Have I oh, that's cute. I keep finding little things. That could, could that, no, no. Oh my days, I don't even think I've got anything small enough to go in this envelope. I will make something to go in this envelope because it's got like a little front tuck spot there and then it's got a back tuck spot there. So I'll, I'll find some things to go in that. And now I'm going to go and read this, try and read this. I can't read that. I cannot read that at all anyway i'm off to the he heladella dining lodge which is my kitchen and i'm gonna get something to eat <laughs> so i'll see you soon lovelies and thank you for my followers thank you thank you thank you and thank you for all the lovely comments as well you do put some really nice things so thank you so much for all that um and i'll see you shortly maybe after lunch i might do another video because um yeah i, I think i well i can't do a flip through till i know what people have voted on so maybe we might come back and i might see if the um food coloring and sponge thing works yeah anyway i'll see you soon and hopefully i'll declutter some of my desk because it's like really really bad um, there's a big pile of stuff there. There's um, piles of stuff along there. There's all that along there. There's all this over here. Yep, it's it's a bit of a mess. So <laughs> I might just try and tidy up that a little bit. So see you soon. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye.